guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're one of my old subscribers, welcome back. Um, I can't even tell you how wonderful it's been to um, be in touch with a bunch of you that used to be subscribed to my channel and watch my channel and interact with me. And to have you say hi and welcome me back, it's so great to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for that. That made me feel great and it's so good to hear from you and see how you guys are all doing now. So. Um, I hope you guys all had a nice Christmas and you're recovering now. I know many of you have gone back to your first weigh-in after the holidays. Some people struggled, some people didn't. It's kind of different for everybody. But um, I just wanted to come on and tell you how I did on my weekly weigh-in today when I went into my workshop. I need to call it workshop and not meetings. I'm so old school, I keep calling it meetings. But anyway, today we're gonna be talking about my weigh-in. Um, and then getting started again after the holidays, a restart, a detox. We're gonna make cabbage soup today, so we'll do that in the next part of the video. So I think you'll really like this simple and easy recipe that is great for weight loss, it's filling, it's just delicious, you will love it. But anyway, let's go into the meeting. I woke up this morning and got myself dressed. I put on my Weight Watchers outfit, my little thin leggings, my light top, all of that, no jewelry, you know the deal. If you've seen my past videos, I wear the same thing every single week. Went there, got on the scale, and I knew I'd be up some, but I didn't really, I didn't think I was gonna be up a lot, but I knew I'd probably be up some, just because I've had some Christmas cookies and some of my kids' candy and this and that, and got back to work, and you know, just crazy week, just like all of you. So I got on the scale today, and I am up 0 .4, 0 .4. That's not so bad, right? I was like, I'll take it. So I am up 0.4 this week when I weighed in and I have a total loss of 3.2 pounds since I restarted um, going to these workshops. I started this program about, you know, I'd say, I don't understand where Jane. Um, a month and a half, eight weeks ago. I started the week before the new plans came out. So I'm down 3.2 pounds in a month and a half. So that's not a lot, but I am a slow loser. And I've been stuck at this range for years. I'm having a hard time getting lower than this. So I'm, I'm cracking at it as, as um, actually, you know what, now that we're talking about this, I wanna thank Sandy. I cannot forget to thank Sandy from Let's Get Fit with Sandy for, for doing a shout out and welcoming me, me back in her video. It was so kind of her. I love Sandy, I watch her videos every single day. And if it weren't for her, many of you wouldn't have even known that I was making these videos again. So I'm gonna link Sandy's um, channel below because if you don't know Sandy, I'm sure you do, but if you don't, she is a lovely lady. She is an inspiration. She tells beautiful stories. You just want to go and have a cup of coffee with her. She makes you feel at ease. I just really love her and so do so many other people. So I'm gonna link her below and I wanna say, Sandy, thank you again for doing a shout out and welcome me back to the community. I've been away for three months and if it weren't for you, a lot of people wouldn't have even known I was back. So thank you, Sandy. So um, up four ounces, time to get back on track. And so we're gonna make some cabbage soup <clears throat> and it's a great detox after the holiday. Something else I just bought recently is I just got a keychain. I ordered this on Amazon and I'm gonna put all my charms on it. So my daughter says, oh mom, you just have to match, don't you? So I have my Danielle charm with my little binder and I'm going to be putting all my charms on this. So that is that. And um, today I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day um, making soup and getting things done around the house. So let's get chopping on, well, actually let's get into the ingredients in this soup real quickly. You're gonna need two green peppers, a whole onion, um, some cabbage, a head of cabbage, salt, pepper, some garlic or garlic powder, some basil. Um, I'm using a can of diced um, tomatoes and basil, garlic and oregano, and two cans of tomato sauce. You can do any concoction of tomatoes that you want, but that's what I like to use. I'm also using two boxes of vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth as well. So I think it's zero points on all three plans. So have this, you will love it. I've been making this for years. When I had my channel before, this was my number one video. People love soup, people love cabbage soup. So I'm gonna start chopping um, my vegetables and I'll show you the next step. All right, guys, I chopped up all my vegetables, one medium onion, two green peppers, one big head of cabbage. It's all ready to go. Just chop it up in little bite-sized pieces, and then the green pepper and onions, regular, just a diced. So I've got the pan started warming up. We're gonna do a little spray in here. You could use olive oil. It's so minimal, I wouldn't even 
called Point. Sometimes I use olive oil, but because I'm trying to be a good Weight Watchers, I'm just using the spray. Get that going. You can also add some garlic here if you want it. I'm just going to use some garlic powder today, but you can use garlic. Throw all your veggies in, and then you're going to start sauteing this. This soup is wonderful. See all my green peppers and onions? Look at all these fresh vegetables. This is a wonderful thing to make anytime, but specifically after a holiday when you want to get back on track and you just need kind of a free, really good food, a detox food. So I'm going to saute all this down. It's probably going to take about 10 minutes. And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients, let it cook for maybe a half hour or so, and it's good to go. All right, the vegetables are nice and softened. They're softened down in the pan. We're going to start adding all the ingredients. This is so easy. So today I'm using garlic powder. Honestly, usually I use fresh garlic, but I'm just trying to make it easy today. And so I'm trying to show you. So I will have the recipe down below for you. This is just a recipe I made up over the years, but I'll kind of estimate the spices that I do, but feel free to tweak it as you want. Now we're into some salt, give it a little bit of salt, some pepper. The thing about making this soup is make sure you make it peppery enough, otherwise it can be kind of bland. So I pepper it up real, real, real good, but do it as you like it. I also do plenty of just dried basil. Actually, let me take the lid off. You want to put a good amount in. You want this to be flavorful, because it's just vegetables. We've got that. Let's add our tomatoes. Here's one can of diced tomatoes and basil, garlic, and oregano. Put that right in. It gives a little bit of bigger bites of tomato. Tomato sauce, this makes the broth, oops, much. I did wash this lid, so that's good. That's why it's important to wash your lids because you never know when it's gonna dump in. And then I've got another one. Putting two cans of tomato sauce in here makes the broth thicker and richer. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a Big Boys, but Big Boys makes cabbage soup. And I would like to tell you that this tastes just like Big Boy's cabbage soup, if you like Big Boy's cabbage soup. It's got that heat and the thickness of the broth, and it's just delish. And then here's two boxes of vegetable. So as you can see, I like to make a big batch of this. You can freeze this or have it in the fridge for a few days. It's so good. So I've got it on almost high, and I'm going to continue to stir it up here and there and let it come to a boil. And we're going to probably cook this for about... 30 minutes or so just let everything kind of combine and come together and that's it okay I'll show you the end when we plate okay, it. Okay soup is done just made a huge pot I let it come to a boil and then I kept it on a little higher than simmer for about 20 minutes or so and it came out fantastic I don't know if you can get a close-up on this or not but there it is the green peppers are fresh the onions the cabbage this thick tomato broth is delicious I started making this in college I'm 44, almost 45 years old, and back in the late 90s on a Sunday, I used to make a big pot of soup, either chicken soup or cabbage soup, and have it on the stove and just eat soup and drink coffee all day long. And so I started making this in college. I just started, I saw a recipe online, or not online, you didn't go online back there. I saw a recipe somewhere and I just kind of tweaked it, and this is how I've kind of made it all these years. Make it how you like it. This is just a great base for you, but it's delicious. So the reason why, I did this video because I like to have a purpose anytime I'm going to make a video for you guys. So I'm not just up here going blah, 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 blah to you. Is It's after the holidays and it's been, you know, challenging. We've had so many temptations. We've had parties. We've had stress. Whether it's, it's from, you know, even family stress can be around the holidays depending on what's going on in your family or going back to work stress, which I had. You know, it's just a crazy time of the year. And so take some time out for yourself. Catch your breath. I say this I say this all the time, people make fun of me all the time, but catch your breath a little bit. You've been through the busy holidays, we've got a happy new year coming up. Make some goals for yourself. What would you like to do in 2020? Weight loss related, health related, finances, spiritual, family, friends, whatever it is to you, take out some time and figure out a fresh start. Who doesn't want a fresh start? I want a fresh start. So. Take out some time, get your, get your house full of some fresh vegetables and fruit and easy meals. Do things that are easy for you. And that's what I want to do on this channel is to share easy, healthy meals that you can make at home, whether you love to cook or you don't love to cook. So that's my goal. Drink your water, get lots of lemon. Sometimes, you know, back when I was in college, I would 
start a new semester, get myself all organized. Um, and so, you know, maybe possibly if you're interested, make up a binder. Here's for my charm for going six out of eight weeks with my meetings. Here's my little charm. Make yourself a little binder if you're going to meetings or even if you're doing online. You know, here is my, my um, weight loss, uh, what do you call these things now, my successor planner. And I write it in every week. What is my goal this week? One thing that I have done well for the past couple of weeks is I've limited eating at the restaurant at my work. I've been bringing my lunch and maybe going down to the restaurant once or twice a week, if that. So if financially, that's better for us and time and just the calories. Um, here's the weekly from this week. Um, they talked about in our, in our um, group today, the Holiday Thrive Guide, how to survive the holidays. Here I just have some paper. Um, this is my little weigh-in thingy, my little digital pass. And then I have the green plan tab. I am following the green plan, so I have all of my um, foods that I can eat, all at my fingertips, um, things about the green plan. And then I, at the end of my binder here, I have all my weeklies. So I've got this beautiful little binder with all my weeklies. And on, when I go, get on the scale each week, I put my binder on the counter and I get everything out and it's so organized and I just feel like I have some kind of control by having everything in one place. I used to have a Weight Watchers bag and I used to just throw everything into it. I did that for all these years on and off, 20, 20 years I've been on and off Weight Watchers. This has been phenomenal. And I learned this from Ennis for Nurse. So thank you, um, Amy, for that. This has really helped me out a lot. So. You guys, take out, take out some time for yourself. It's been a busy holiday. Catch your breath, clean your house, get your groceries, do whatever you gotta do to make yourself feel good and have a restart because um, I'm so happy to have you guys. I'm so happy to be back. And um, just thanks for everything. And if I don't talk to you, you have a wonderful New Year's with your family and friends. And I'm not, you know, I'll probably talk to you before that, but I don't know. But if I don't, Happy New Year to you and your family, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.